my name is Dr. Robin Walsh and this is my two-minute weekly wellness series. I'm a naturopathic doctor here at Vibrant Living in Waterloo. I thought in terms of uh, Valentine's Day or in lieu of Valentine's Day we talk a little bit about chocolate today because I feel like everybody loves chocolate and a lot of times uh, my clients uh, they're dealing with a lot of insulin resistance or they're trying to lose weight um, so a lot of them get uh, put at least initially onto low-carb plants but low-carb plants don't mean that they have to be without any kind of indulgence. So um, I had found this recipe from a colleague of mine, Brianne Callanan. Thank you, Brianne. Um, and I thought I'd share it with you because I think it's just another way that uh, another another tool that you can use to implement um, really great sources of protein and good fats um, with low carbohydrates in the form of a very sort of indulgent sweet, um, perfect for Valentine's Day. So this is actually a um, cookie, uh, and I'll send you the recipe. Uh, it's called a like a keto protein cookie. So uh, it's got almost uh, sort of 50 grams of protein uh, in the recipe um, divided into probably you know six to eight cookies or so and um, it's absolutely no carb so it's actually made with uh, a beef protein powder and I know a lot of people if they haven't been exposed to beef protein before um, think that's a little bit odd uh, but beef protein is actually a really lovely source of protein. It's 70% uh, 70 collagen, and collagen is really important for our skin and our joints. Um, and it's a really low allergenic protein. So a lot of times, unfortunately, although the vegan proteins are wonderful, they contain a lot of pea, um, and pea protein can be really allergenic for those suffering from inflammation. Then we have on the other side the most common protein known as whey, um, which again can be lovely for most, um, but for a lot of people, they're dairy sensitive and they can't handle it. So beef is provided it's a, a really nice option and the other thing is it tastes great it's not gritty um, and unlike whey so if everybody's ever made a protein or a cookie with whey um, it's kind of water soluble so it gets really sort of dry and crumbly the recipe but beef is water insoluble it's much like a wheat protein um, and it tends to be extremely tasty in these recipes so this recipe has hazelnut butter um, the recipe will call for you to make your own hazelnut butter you can also purchase it um, which I did uh, health food section of the grocery store, Bulk Barn sometimes has it, or any of your health food stores, and then it will contain um, sort of egg, pink Himalayan sea salt, which contains more minerals than natural table salt, um, the beef protein, and then a couple of other ingredients. Um, you can choose to add some chocolate chips. You definitely want to make sure you do this at the end, um, so you can just sprinkle them on when the cookies are warm. Uh, you have a couple of options. You can use regular chocolate chips, but there also are stevia sweetened chocolate chips. Um, they're called Krista, uh, and they are in the health food section of the grocery store, our Zares will have them. Uh, so they're a lovely addition. And stevia is wonderful because uh, it's obviously a low calorie sweetener, but more importantly, it doesn't spike insulin, unlike sort of the um, artificial sweeteners would. So it's perfect for sort of a low carb plan. You could also use cacao nibs. Now cacao nibs are lovely. There's got a they have a huge amount of antioxidants in them, but um, they do provide a little bit more of a sort of a bitter flavor. Um, so I really hope you enjoy this recipe. I hope you, even if you are on a low carb plan, find it very indulgent and decadent. Um, and thank you very much for watching. Uh, and if you want inf more, more information about the beef protein or where to get it, you can send uh, the clinic an email, info at vibrant-living.ca.